three, two, one. Here we go! Good morning, everyone. We are out here at New London Tech. I got the one and only Nate Sexton here. I think he watched our video and really wanted to come out and uh, see this course. Absolutely. I, I saw you and Simon playing. I've actually only seen the front nine, so I'm, I'm gonna be going in blind all the way, but looking even more forward to see what's on the back nine. I know there's some super long holes, but overall, Simon said it wasn't too tough. So I just, I just got the shopping bag. I'm ready to go. <laughs> all right, well, we'll get into it. Looks so like, you got probably into the trees, maybe 15, 20 feet. So the grouping where the basket is, you probably got about 25. Like feet if you went through right. that accidentally through that gap on the right, yeah, that's would safe. you be over safe the whole time? But if you if it goes out of sight, like yeah. if it just goes just around that corner, it's out okay. of bounds. Okay. One day I'm gonna birdie this hole with this disc. Hopefully it's today. <laughs> It sort of might be today. I think I think so. That yeah. blood really helped me out. Is there anything danger on the left besides just trees? Just trees. No okay. Way. Little wide. Gonna need help. I think I got it. Got the help. I think I'm safe, maybe. Safe. Yeah. yeah, it was not great. Oh. What? There was a tree I couldn't see. You're either gonna have to pump it far or it's going to be short more than likely it's going to have to be casual relief because there is a part that kind of floods up well i gotta play aggressive for nick's money yeah that's true you i got a risk i got a risk ob that's a little further left than i wanted too early on the turn or about right just too much left i wanted it to go a little bit straighter eh. Or in front. Probably probably Nick's money is safe, but I'm in the yeah, fairway. Money is really safe. Those branches are gonna be a little bit tricky. Not that they're not that they shouldn't be there. I'm not trying to say to Parks guy that he needs to cut <laughs> these. Yet, yeah. Don't cut you're, them. You're I'm just saying they're say in I'm not trying to say they're in a bad spot. I'm saying that I didn't throw a good drive. Not a single flip. Not a single flip. That's probably trouble. Oh no, too flippy. Sit. That's probably safe. There's a rope right there. This would be a good par, holy cow. You got a really pinched angle. I think I'm gonna have a really tough par too. This reminds me of the shot that I threw at, uh, in that playoff. Paul, did you come, did you come unplugged? It's Ricky and Simon. At, at IDGC? Oh, uh, yeah, the one at IDGC in the playoff? Yeah, I remember that. I feel like this, this is like a mini version of it. A very similar angle. Just a little shorter. This is dead. Of course, maintenance. Fair enough. Get over, get over, get over. Not. Oh, and then it kicked way straight backwards. Come You'd on. You'd be up there with me somewhere. So you said how, it's another 40 from that little tree? Yeah, probably 40 feet past it and then a little left. Okay. You can see it right yeah, here. Yeah, I see it here. So if I have a gap, it's doable. Oh, nasty. Parked, probably. Hopefully, that took a weird skip. Maybe a putt. Sorry, I wasn't looking. I think it was short, but it was about as good as I could do from there. And that's how I felt like on a lot of these par fours or par fives. I wanted it to be like, you have to earn it. Sure, I and like if it. If not, you still have to scramble for par. I think it's, it's hard to... Some score it, separation. It's hard to design like, par four and fives for the elite pro level sometimes because they end up being the easiest hold on the course too often, I think. Yeah, if you don't drive it well, it's just a scramble. Like with both of us here, you know, yeah. you, our drives weren't great and we're just working just oh. to try to. So I was wrong, it's 60 past that tree. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Oh, bad putt, sit. Thank you, kinda. Oh my goodness, even worse putt. <laughs> still warm up, still warm up time. First three holes. First putt of the day. Well, first two holes, we're warmed up. We're not gonna mess up anymore. 
Nice. Bogey. Look, it calibrated on the heart now. Actually, you got that Leopard 3. Yeah. I there is OB one. long, but it's like 60 long, I think. Okay. Yeah, this is a nice little low forehand, but I think it'll skip, I think it'll flare skip down to out of bounds. Gotcha, you don't have one that's- Cause I have that one X cal, but it's gonna skip huge. I'm gonna have to tell him to cut those branches down actually. Which for, one? For the forehand. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah. that'd be kind of nice. Cause it's kind of interesting to have people you taking both yeah. sides of that tree. Mm -hmm. That's so low. Turn. That dart's a beast still. That one, oh. I mean, that one's not flippy at all. <laughs> that might help a little. Yeah, that'll work. I'm gonna try it forehand after okay. just, for, just for fun. We can add it. We can show the people some different lines. Yeah. Turn. Hold. Hold. That looks pretty good. Hold. Yeah, that yeah. seems good. Right, Maybe I just need to throw that just the whole time. Yeah, I mean, there's something to be said for staying in the middle. You're gonna, <laughs> I gotta look. on that last hole, you can't really afford to give up that much distance, but yeah. a lot of these other ones, you probably could. Nate, sex and bonus coverage, it's working. Oh yeah, if that was lower, I think it would have stuck safe. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, Ooh. no, that's perfect height. Yeah, there you go. Just and then like these, man, those poles, the one with the little red, uh -huh. supposedly I think they're gonna cut them and make them low to where they're like ground level. Oh, that's cool. What, Cause there's some old markers for some other thing. They, oh, have, for those they have wires through them. Yeah, so they can test and make sure everything's going right and All right. whatnot. But uh, I think by the time tournament comes, they're gonna have them. Cool. Not visible. Too soft. All right. I'll get a birdie before the day's over. I hope. <laughs> I think my first round out here, I didn't get a birdie till the 10th. Really? Yeah. Oh man, these are the brand new. These are the testers, Idio Sports. These are the syncrasy, so it kind of makes a little idiosyncrasy if you put them together, <laughs> cool. But yeah, they, they got a cool little logo. I don't know, this is, my, this is only my fourth tee pad that I've stood on with them, but so far I'm loving them. They're like, they're comfortable. There's, like I said, kind of like a final test version. So I'm gonna go home and test them on concrete as well and give some feedback along with the other people that have been tasked with uh, the honor of being testers. So I'm excited for it. I hope, uh, hope we can uh, make it work and have it, have it come to market similar to this because I think they're cool. I don't have to go too far, but it's pretty straight, but you have to shape the forehand. Sweet. Yeah. Like a flex? Yeah, soft flex, yeah. Because those curved trees actually point you away. You want to go under those? Yeah, go okay. right. Great. Short or good? Oh, it's putting. Okay. Touch shorter than I wanted, but cool. it got through. All right, Hannah. <laughs> Help me out. Get me on the board here. Okay, Don't I think we're finished, but it's a putt. Yeah, it didn't quite get back right as much as I wanted, but I think it's all right. Did they paint that blue arrow just so he'd be able to find his disc? Just to remind himself? Yeah, right over here. Mm. Oh, good route, good route. You're about to take off. There I'm it on is. The board. Thanks, Hannah. I knew there'd be a forehand hole eventually. <laughs> Line? Yes. And if you're just kind of going at that and break right, yep. things are yeah, good. Yeah, if you're going forehand, you should be good. Okay. But the higher up the hill, the better for the second shot. Okay. Just don't go be up mm -hmm. top. Like I'm throwing a roller here. Okay, nice. Ooh, flipped it a bit. That should be safe though. Not really high up the hill, but should be okay. All right, let's see if I can get this to roll. Oh, definitely rolling. Too, mu too much, huh? <laughs> that was first throw with it. I'm gonna try uh, through this narrow gap too. Oh, that's crushed. And that's not in the pond. That's probably on top. Oh, oh come on. That was so good. One of the last ones. I guess I'll try to get lucky. That sounds good. I don't I don't know where the gaps are. I think 
I'm just going to throw it about as far as the basket and hope that it gets through a little. I can't really, it's hard to tell like where the cleanest gap is. I think it's on the right, but I'm going to try to go just kind of straight up here and see if I can miss one or two trees. A little short, I think. Short, but you're at the opening. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Right. So the reason I'm always in style with, with this uh, bag is because I came here just to help Paul with some clinics. Only had room for just a carry-on, so I didn't bring my full pound bag, my full tournament setup. Um, so just uh, rocking this loner. I got a couple discs with me, but just so, couldn't pass up the chance to play the brand new Paul McBeth design. Hey, can we get it in the bag? <laughs> yeah, sure, we can do it in the bag. I have uh, one XT Dart, one Nexus Firefly for putting, one Star Leopard 3. I have one Star Excalibur that I just threw. I have Hannah, the Firebird, and then I have three sort of like maximum distance destroyers that I mostly brought to show off in the clinics. But they're gonna come in handy here too, but I, I have three kind of similar uh, bomber destroyers. Oh. Mm, pretty close. Yeah, makes it a really hard birdie, even though like the drive is not that hard, but then you still have to be super accurate. And I do feel like I probably would risk yeah, it, like risk it back there, there with the, with, just throw that X cal harder. Cause there's no OB risk. Yeah, that's a little bit easier for me, I think. Just try to get into the second level. Roller, hammered. So you go left right here off the beginning. Yeah. And this actually kind of bends this way. So it kind of curves this okay, way. Okay, on the and second shot. Okay. Yeah. So ideally you want to get your shot right here and then to this corner and then go across. All right. So I go with something like a Undertaker, Heiser, and then let it flatten out around the corner. Okay. So I don't know if your leopard could do that, but. I don't either. But it looks, it does look a little tight to fit a destroyer into. Yeah, do you want me to go first on this one? Sure, that's fine. I'll try, I'll try, I'll probably try the leopard. Too much or you like it? Too tight, but it might. Way too tight. Ah. Oh. Way too tight. I wanted to get just around that tree, but I hit this stupid cable in my back. Ah, similar. I might get through it though, it's flatter. Ah, uh, maybe Nick is still, maybe there's still hope. Yeah. Um, you're actually on the OB line, so you gotta bring it in a meter. Where is the OB line? Right here. But I'm not out? No, you're good. Oh, fantastic. So I can go there? Yeah. So that's what I think everyone's playing this hole so easy. Like, oh, sorry, oh, because there's no string. Yeah. Yeah, so people don't realize it. All right, well, I got to stay aggressive because even though this is the hardest hole in the world, Nick Carl said I could have $50 if I birdied it. So that's really the only chance I have to line my pockets this, during this video. So I got to really, uh, I got to go, go for something here. Flip, flip. Oh, I love it. Oh, that is looking hyzering out perfect. And a skip. Hey, hey. Oh, look at the bucket. Come on now, Nick. Not safe, but wide. Oh. Okay, so if I just hammer a forehand. Best two shots I've ever seen. Um, yeah, the forehand, as you can see, it's got those trees. There's more stuff in the way. I'm a little worried about that. It might be the Leopard 3. And just, just hope for the best. But if you hit those tree shirt, there's only one across that's safe. Yeah, one tree? Yeah, which I might tell them to take that out too, because it would suck to hit that and then roll out of bounds. Yeah, that would be bad. Okay, downhill. It doesn't look that far, but got to get across. Yeah. The, well, it's not an island, but it starts to come up too. But, so you can kind of hit it with some speed maybe. I'm hoping this doesn't flip too bad. Correct it. Oh. Sorry, Nick. Three it. Sorry, Nick. Three it. Sorry, oh. Nick. All right, this is for my birdie. Stay on pace with Nate. See ya. Floater. Right distance, just here. <laughs> Horrible angle. Get there. Nice putt. That was sick. 
totally blocked. Could you even see the basket really? No. That's awesome. I could see the pole, but I knew what I had to do because I just had to pizza it up there. Well, you designed the place, man. You know where they're at. <laughs> Oh. All right, Nick, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you, man. That's generous of you. I mean, I'm, I know, I guess I still got it. If I can bury the fir hardest hole on the planet, first try blind, I mean, that, I'm, I must still got something. That's great. Dude, I feel like a success just from that. That's awesome. Freaking Nick, that's, that'll be funny. He'll be, he'll be pretty shocked, I think. That's all I can afford now. <laughs> I thought I was no way, because honestly, the second hole to me is way harder get in the yeah. muddy conditions. Yeah than that hole right there. Mm -hmm. Cause like I have to throw such a smash drive and then from bad footing, throw such a money shot. That one plays a little easier. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna go for it because- You gotta, that's You fun. just laid it up and- Yeah, I'll... yeah, we gotta see it. I wanna go for it. Holy moly. Is that around the corner? Yeah, I guess. Flexes, I think so. I mean, it went forever. I'll walk up there where you wanna. Oh, you can walk up here too. Yeah, I'll take a quick look. I probably got a big hyzer kind of play or? Uh, I don't, you Medium hyzer? To lay up, yeah. I don't think you can reach the basket. It's, it's right over there. Right there? Yeah, that little blue disc down there, blue and pink. But Nate just laid it up, which is a smart play. This is kind of one of those, it's a, it's a gettable par five, eagle bowl. He's lining his up right now. He no, I can't up. do it. There's too many branches. Oh, he's got to lay it up. Over so I'm going to go short. But uh, he went with the layup play. Now he's going to probably pitch it up here. Right around him. where you're standing is pretty good, right? Perfect. Okay. He's going to go for the birdie rather than the eagle trying to throw it across. So there's too many branches in the way. Oh, big hyzer. This is going to hit you. Oh, that was a boulder right there. Oh, geez. Yeah, probably people aren't playing that OB either. They're just, pick, just going playing down there. The rocks yeah, this is the easy yeah. par five. Yeah. Go in. Don't hit I'm that. Tough. Don't hit that. Oh, my God. That scared me. <laughs> You're just going to blow that up. Just a little bit of wind. No OB right. No. Okay. Too oh, much. Super spike. Too much. Dig. Dig. All right. It's not horrible. Circle. Safe shot. This guy. The birdie. And the eagle though, right? For you. Yep. Nice. Here we go. The woods hole. This, this is the woodsiest one? Yeah. So this reminds me, this hole, I designed it because I was thinking of uh, 2005 Am World, some NAU Thorpe action here. N -A okay. I remember it very barely are we going are we ob all down the right yeah but it's just pretty out of the way okay there is a sneaky hyzer gap too eagles are up birdie's got a back-to-back -back birdies birdie's got to wait sit down back-to-back -back birdies sit down yeah stick uh, a little out of position. pretty crushed a little out of position Oh yeah, miss it, nice. Oh, she's great. Oh gosh, sit. I mean, is that OB? No, there's no OB. Good, it was not, I mean, that's fine. I was, I was gonna be happy with any kind of putt from this spot. I think I got just the disc for this hole, or for the shot. Nope. Fly. Ah. Push it a little left. I think if I could have gotten it to the fairway, I'd have a chance, but a little riskier. Oh! What? <laughs> I missed it! What a bird. Oh yeah! Hand up! Hand up! <laughs> All right, I'm not, I'm just gonna try to throw far. Too low. That's not good. First tick sighting. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Where was it? On my arm.
Flex. I'm not getting far enough. That's safe though. I need to get them higher in the air. That looks decent. Yeah, approaching it a little different this time. Uh, I can't, I usually go the right side over there. Yeah. And then my third shot, I always go way too far left because I feel like I'm pinched a little. And now you can swing it? This time, yeah, I'm going to leave myself some room to swing it in. I like the distance. Yeah, it's kind of a tough stance. Skip. Yeah, that's pretty good. You went past it. It was kind of tough because I didn't really have any run up. Oh yeah, you only have like 350 to go. Hopefully that keeps going. Might be a little short. How is the pole shorter or even with it? Uh, the pole's past it. Oh, okay. Nice. These 1,200 footers, I'm, I'm all right with that. <laughs> Two birdies. On both of them? Both of the long ones, right? I got them. Both par fives. Oh, uh, you're three for three on the par fives. Yeah. Seeming like a real Tiger Woods over but here. But it's these long ones that I was, that was, those were the ones I knew I would be doing well on. <laughs> All right, well, that completes the front nine. Nate and I are both playing really good right now. I'm at four down. He's at four down. He's got four in a row. Uh, but I snuck that little eagle in there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you for watching this front nine. Be sure to like, share, subscribe this video. Thank you, Nate, for coming along. We're going to hop on the back nine. Um, what's, Sim coming? what's Simon's score? Seven? Simon shot, Simon shot seven. There's no way seven. he's safe from both of us. Yeah. Both four down with nine to play. Here we go.